Hey, what's up guys? I am the Brick Scavenger and I am back with part two of this video to show you a little bit more about what I found in my big Lego haul. Just as a quick recap from part one, I got 80 pounds of Lego for $120. Just an absolute steal, even if it's only loose Lego. But as you saw, there were a lot of sets in there. I put some of them together, and I do need a bunch of loose Lego. So I actually am happy with what I put together. I was going to show you a little bit more about what I found. And then I also have tons of loose Lego left. Probably, I don't know, 60 pounds, maybe 50 pounds of loose Lego still, which I'll show you at the end. So I think it was a great score. And uh, let's take a look a little bit more about what I found. All right, so the first thing that I pointed out in that video was that I did not see a lot of minifigures. And turns out there were a decent number of minifigures in there. Now, I spent literally zero time, time trying to match up torsos with legs and things like that because these are all going to get broken down and sorted out and put into my collection. Uh, but if you see something in here that looks familiar or you know what set it might be from... Let me know in the comments. There's about 40 minifigures here. And that doesn't include some loose legs and things that I found. Loose arms that I just haven't, uh, you know, shown in this video. But they are around. So there's, there's some Star Wars stuff in here. There's some police stuff in here. And again, I know it's not correct. I know Darth Vader does not wear a police uniform. But this is all going to get broken down because the way I store these Lego parts, the heads are in a separate spot than the legs and the arms anyway. So I'm just going to quickly show you that there's about 40 minifigures so far, something like that, that I've dug out of there. I think there's a few more, but I'm not too worried about it. It was a nice little steal just to pick up 40 minifigures in this collection. All right, so the first thing I wanted to show you that I got... Put back together was this little ambulance it's from set 60023 and this isn't a huge score or anything but i think this thing is gonna look great in our city so i just figured i'd show you what this looks like nice little set didn't take long to put together it's in pretty good shape you might notice that there's a few things missing the blue windows here for example have some stripes on this side but i wasn't able to locate all of them, you can see one of them is missing here, but we did have a blue window we put in its place. Otherwise, this ambulance is in great shape. Fun to add to the city for sure. So I figured I'd give you, give you a good look at that one. The same one. thing goes for these next two sets. Here is a police van or vehicle of some kind. It's from set 60008. You can have a good look at this one. This was in pretty good shape too. I think we have all the parts for this guy. If not, it's really close. So I'm excited to have that guy. That'll look really good in the city. Along with this little car. I guess it's a car for a thief or something. 60007. There you go. Now I put this particular windshield on here with the Porsche label. I'm not sure that actually goes with it, but I don't really care. I just thought it was fun. So this is a nice little car here. Had all the parts for this guy, or close anyway. So that'll be a nice addition to the city as well. And again, for these sets, 6007 and 60008, I didn't even bother trying to put the rest of it together. This is good uh, for what I want for the city, and the rest of it can be loose Lego, and that's totally fine. Right, this one is set 31010. And again, not necessarily a huge score, but... My daughter and I have this farming area in our city. We have like three houses in there, most of them from Lego Friends. And uh, you've probably seen that in one of our other videos. If not, you can check it out. But this will be a nice little tree house to add to our city. So I'm excited to have gotten this one. The only thing that we had an issue with was these windows. It seems silly that I couldn't find the right windows. I'll have to check again in our own collection, but... The windows don't look ideal. But other than that, nice little treehouse to add to the city. All right, now we start getting into the, some of the stuff that I was really excited about. 
This is a super cool set. It's not particularly huge. I think it's 250, 275 pieces, something like that. Set 8017, Darth Vader's, is this a TIE fighter? I don't know. Anyway, this set is either complete or 99% complete. Very, very cool set. This will get added to our Star Wars collection, which is getting a little out of control now. But that's what's fun about these brick scavenges is you never know what you're going to get. And you'll see in a minute we got a couple of other things from Star Wars that are pretty big sets. So to get all these scores plus have a bunch of loose Lego, this was just absolutely amazing. I'm super stoked about this. Very cool all set. Alright, moving right along. This is set 60008. And I put this one together. This is just book four. But I put this one together because I think this will be really good in the city as well. So very fun to have found this. The only thing for those of you with keen eyes that is missing is this tan piece right here. You'll see I've got one of them here. It's this kind of curving tan piece that is lacking right there. And man, I've looked through my collection and I don't have any. So it could be a BrickLink purchase, but honestly, I'm starting to think it's more fun to kind of search for those pieces as I scavenge different collections. So while I could pick that up on BrickLink, it's probably more likely that I'll just keep my eye out for it as I scoop up other collections. Either way, this museum is super cool. I was very glad to find these two sticker pieces with the jewels on them. The lock actually doesn't go with the set, but we added that just for fun, and those lightsaber red things that are the alarm system are super cool in this set so very excited to find this guy to add to the city you can see the back here there's some priceless paintings and jewels and things like that very fun all right then we get to the three huge ones very excited to find this train seven nine three eight now it's not complete unfortunately but i mean it's pretty close to find this thing that seems like a score. The biggest things that were missing were the roof pieces. You can see right here, this particular train car is complete. These roof pieces here in the center of the screen. I think you need six of them total to finish the set. And I could only find two. And unfortunately, I don't have any other in the collection. I do have another copy of this train though. So I do have it in its complete form. But uh, scooping those up or keeping my eyes out for those will be good. I do have this, which I believe goes in there to drive the train, but it's not complete. And then some of the uh, pieces on the bottom here are missing, you can see. But otherwise, this train's in really good shape. Good score on this collection for sure. All right, how about this one that was in there? 75021. And guess what, folks? It is almost entirely present. Again, no minifigs, unfortunately, or very few of them. But this is a cool set. And I believe that LEGO actually put out a couple of different versions of this because I have another one of these that looks similar, but it's certainly not the same. This guy... I just can't believe the whole thing was there. This is not a cheap set, so to find that was super cool. Maybe a few stickers missing, some minifigs missing, but overall it's in really good shape. 75021. Amazing to have found that and put that back together. All right, and then the last one that we got was the Millennium Falcon, set 7965. You'll notice we only have book two, which made me a little concerned that we may not be able to find all the pieces for this. And we most certainly did not find all the minifigures, but you'll see the set itself is in really good shape. Very excited to find this guy. If you haven't seen the Millennium Falcon or put one together yourself, most of them are very similar in terms of construction where these, the top of this thing kind of folds back and allows you to get in there to see some of the interior detail. I'll open these guys up for you so you can see. This one is not particularly chock full of interior detail, but uh, it's still fun. I would say some of the later models of the Millennium Falcon actually have better detail on the inside. 
These look like beds or couches or something. Um, but I will say that one of my favorite pieces, such a simple piece, but it, one of my favorites is this particular checkerboard sticker. It just reminds me, obviously, of the uh, board game that they play on the Millennium Falcon, for those of you that have seen the movie, where uh, Chewie gets all upset and uh, they're concerned he's going to rip out arm sockets or something. Anyway, very fun. So yeah, Millennium Falcon was in there and in really good shape. Like I mentioned, this is quite a collection. We scooped up 80 pounds of loose Lego for $1.50 a pound. And just as a quick recap of all the things that we just talked about, we put these together. There are many more sets in there, which I ultimately chose not to put together. I need a bunch of loose Lego for another purpose. And so all of that will remain loose Lego. I'll show you the size of that in just a minute. It's probably, I don't know, I haven't weighed it, 40, 50, 60 pounds of loose Lego still. But uh, quite a score from the Brick Scavenger on this one. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, so just to quickly document the rest of the loose Lego, it got sorted by color, and you can see there's a lot of it. These are uh, gallon Ziploc bags, and uh, I'm not going to count them for you, but you can see there's a lot of all of this loose Lego that came as a part of this steel of a scavenge that we pulled off. Very excited. This is a separate bin that also came with it. This is kind of sticker pieces and pieces that have, you know, some kind of printing on them so that I can, I keep this separate so that as I'm putting a set together, I can find, you know, pieces that may have originally supposed to have stickers on them. If you're looking for this particular police piece when you're putting together a set and you have to look through all the whites it's kind of a pain in the neck because you don't even know if it's in there so as I'm sorting by color I just pull out all of the printed and sticker pieces in one place so that I can easily find out quickly if I have it or not I'm not sure what this is exactly I'm sure one of you could tell me I guess that probably tells you right there but uh anyway the Brick Scavenger was back in action, pulling off a steel. There it all is. Had a bunch of fun, guys. We'll be back with another Scavenger City update soon. But show us what you found. We would like to see what you find at yard sales or other places where you might scoop up used Lego. This one goes on our list of excellent scores. All right, so I am standing with our Lego city behind me just to quickly wrap up this Brick Scavenger edition. Thank you guys for tuning in. Amazing to find those cool Star Wars ships. A couple of additions to this city. I'm not sure exactly where the uh, museum or the treehouse will go just yet. And obviously the cars will get put in there somewhere. But uh, quite a find. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Hope you guys are also finding some amazing used Lego out there or scooping up some of the new sets that are a lot of fun too. We'll be back with another edition of the Brick Scavenger soon. Enjoy it. Happy building.